Have you ever wanted your voice to be so resonant and so pitch accurate that it sounds like you have natural auto-tune? Today I'm going to tell you how to do that with what we call aliens. And I grow up, I want to be famous, famous, famous. My name is Sean Roy. I'm a talent development specialist in Los Angeles, California. I help singers and actors achieve their show business dreams every day in my Los Angeles studios and online. So, let's get to it. Aliens. Aliens is not something that I made up. It's something that a speech therapist that I know, Tom Burke, took from the works of many other speech therapists. One of the vocal coaches that also does this is Dolores Sajic. You should check her out, she's an opera singer. So what aliens are is to place your vocal tract to create a vocal tract that works with the most efficiency. And how we do this is in several steps. The first thing you're going to do is find your magic note. And what you do is you just kind of go up and down your scale until you find the note that has the most buzz in your face, that's the easiest to produce, and there's no wavering. For most women, it's around a middle C, and for most men, it's around an F, okay? So you just find that note, and you find it where it's really buzzing in the face and that there's practically no effort to produce it. Once you get the, your magic note, what you're going to do is you're gonna move your jaw. And you're gonna move your jaw up and down from a tightly squeezed jaw to an open jaw, but keep your mouth closed. And then you're gonna find the note, the find the position of the jaw that gives you even more resonance than what you had from just singing your magic note. Once you have that place, we're gonna work your tongue. And what you're gonna do is just do what we call Morse code. And you're gonna find first your magic note, work your jaw, and then you're gonna do Morse code by tipping, just tipping the top of your tongue to the back of your teeth. And you're gonna find um, that relaxes your tongue. Once you do that, you're gonna work with your lips, all right? And you're going to go from what I would call a one, which is spread lips, to a 10, which is a protruded lip, okay? And you're gonna keep on playing back and forth with that till you find where you find even more resonance. So let's go through it again. You have your magic note, mm, you have your jaw, mm, You have your Morse code. Now you have your lips. For most people, it's between a four and a five and a six where they find the best placement. Right, so we. All right, so now we have, let's go over it again, magic note. We have our jaw, we have our Morse code, lips, okay? Then we're gonna flare the nose, right? That's opening up the vocal tract even more. So let's, let's go through all of it again. Magic note, mm, jaw, mm, Morse code, mm, lips, Clear nostril. Okay? Now, aliens have nice long necks. So after those flared nostril, you're gonna make your, your neck really long, all right? So let's go over that again. We have what? Magic note. We have jaw. We have Morse code. We have lips. We have flare of the nostril. We have long neck. And last, you're gonna lift your ears like that. So just have them feeling like they're lifted. And what's gonna happen at the end of that is you're gonna have a well placed resonant vocal sound. Once you can find that well placed vocal sound, 
Then you try doing that in different areas of your range, going up and down the scale, um, singing notes that you're having trouble with. So for example, let's say you're singing a song and there's a note that just doesn't sound right. It's just not in the right place. You do an alien and it will tune and make that note perfect. So a lot of my students, when they're in the recording studio or they're in rehearsal and one of the notes feels too high or it's just not hitting it as golden as they'd like it to do, they do an alien and it just puts it in the right place. Have you ever heard of aliens before? And if you have, why don't you drop it in the comments and let me know where you heard about it so I can even do some more research on it. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and type helpful in the comments. And if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Once again, my name is Sean Royer. Please remember my motto, when you count the stars, I hope you count yourself first.